Hello. Today we're going to talk about custom cell formatting. So this can be a very complex subject and so basically what, I'm ex what I want to talk about is how to create your own custom styles in here, just so you know what we're talking about. I think the first thing to understand is the basics. And so there are four ways that Excel sees numbers. One of them is positive numbers, such as a thousand. The next category would be negative numbers, such as negative 1,000. The next would be zero, and the last would be words. Right? Those are your four buckets of numbers, and we're going to talk about how to create a cell style which will target each one. So I am going to select this range here just so we can create a rule, and I'm going to start by making what I'm I'm going to call a basic rule, but it's not really that basic. So what we're talking about is in this dialog box launcher can be also be found under this drop down list here, more number formats. Now, one of the first things to understand if you're taking a MOS exam or pretty probably anything that you'd want to do, there's a good chance that the formatting already exists. There's all kinds of date formats and uh, accounting formats, currency, stuff that already exists. And there's already a bunch of specials and customs which have already been created. Just want you to understand that before you go reinventing the wheel, understand that what you're looking for probably already exists. In the event that it doesn't, I'm going to show you how to do something. So I want to create my own custom format. So I'm going to delete this rule right here. And this order matters. So positive, negative, zero, and then, and then uh, text or strings. So the first uh, rule I write applies to positive numbers. Now this is kind of strange to mess around with the colors, but it's one of the easiest to illustrate. So I'm going to write in square brackets, blue. So that means positive numbers are going to be blue. Now these, these uh, categories are separated by semicolons. So the next one is negative numbers. And so square brackets, red. So my positive numbers are going to be blue. My negative numbers are going to be red. And so now we're going to get to our zero values. So our zero values are going to be green. And the last bucket is our text values. And so our text values are going to be black. All right, I'm aware this is a strange color scheme. But uh, so this should give us something to look at, though. Positive, negative, zero text and we've got one of each up there I click OK apply and you can see I've got positive negative zero and text so in my mind that's the most important thing to understand is the formatting how to create those rules now you could spend hours and hours playing around creating some kind of custom format let's just look in this is one example case of how you might want to apply some more formatting. So I'm going to start messing with the individual numbers. So this is a positive 1,000. I'm going to go edit that rule. So notice that when I pressed OK, it, it, it appended a general in there, um, as in it's going to apply to any kind of value. So let's say that I wanted blue numbers to have a dollar sign on them, right? Like we're creating our own accounting format or something like that. So if I wanted to do that, that means I'm going to be editing the first class of rules here. And so if I wanted a dollar sign, I would quite simply just type a dollar sign. And you can see the sample happening right here, which isn't real great. And if I type a number sign, you can see we're actually getting somewhere. And if, let's say, I want to make a decision about how many decimal places, let's say I want two decimal places, then I would type 0.00. .00. And you can see the live sample being generated. If I had one zero, then I have one zero. If I, if I have three, I have three. You can see what's happening right there. So notice I'm creating a rule which applies to the positive numbers. And so that's going to place a dollar sign, and that's going to mess around with the uh, decimals. I click OK, and you can see it applied. Now let's do uh, create a rule which will apply to the negative numbers. So I'm going to jump back into that dialog box. So remember, in this point, we are messing around with the negative numbers, which is the second portion of the rule. Let's say I wanted this to look accounting-ish. So I would put a dollar sign. And now the difference here is that it's going to be red, it's going to have a dollar sign, but it's all going to be buried inside of some parentheses. So I'm just going to literally type a parenthesis, and then I'm going to type a number sign, which represents the number, and then I'm going to close my parentheses. And that's accounting format, more or less. Now I probably should do something to make it consistent with uh, what I did before. 
So how about just that uh, 0, 0.00 convention? And so now I'm kind of creating some consistency from my last rule. And so you can put all kinds of things in there between the semicolons. This is a dollar sign because that's what we said we wanted. Note the parentheses just literally typed in there. And this is indicating two decimal places. Now I don't know what you would want to do to, for the next one. I don't know what you'd want to do to zeros. Green looks pretty good to me. Um, how about... Let's come. So for this one, let's jump in here and let's say I want to make it into a just a dash in quotes, right? So zeros are no longer going to be zeros. They're going to be dashes. So I just typed a dash in between uh, prints or quotation marks. Maybe that makes sense. And let's apply a rule to the words. So I'm going to jump back into that number format. And so instead of black, I'm just going to say, uh, how about something like a quotation mark, three question marks, right? Like the, I think the implication of this style is that it should be numeric data. And in the event that it's not, probably three question marks sounds like a good idea. So we could spend hours and I think you wouldn't have any trouble finding other videos and resources out there on the web where they are going out of their way to create some really elaborate styles and that's fine. In this video, I think the thing I hope you understand is just how you create a rule in general. So it's positive numbers, negative numbers, zeros, and then text values. And there's many different rules and formatting t uh, patterns which can be applied to the numbers. But I think if you just have an understanding for how it's laid out, that's kind of the tools you need to get done whatever you need to get done. Thanks for watching, but that's custom formats.